Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at worked solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam which will be sat by students studying BTEC Level 3 Nationals in Engineering. Now the document that we're going to be referring to today are the sample assessment materials that are or have previously been provided on the Edexcel website and the document that we're going to be referring to in particular is Issue 1 of the sample assessment materials. Question 10 provides the following scenario. Coolant is being passed through a pipe which tapers from a diameter of 50 mil to a diameter of 40 mil. The initial flow velocity of the coolant is six meters per second. We have a diagram that specifies that it's not to scale. And the question asks us to calculate the output flow velocity of the coolant. So this question requires us to apply the continuity equation. And the continuity equation states the following, U1, A1, equals u2 a2 or you may see this written as v1 a1 and v2 a2 but the u or the v represents the velocity now the subscript 1 and the subscript 2 refers to different positions along that pipe position 1 is the inlet and position 2 is the outlet the question specifies that the initial flow velocity of the coolant is 6 meters per second so we know that u1 is 6 meters per second and it also gives us the diameters well what we're actually looking to calculate here is the inlet area a1 and the outlet area a2 and in doing so we'll be able to calculate the outlet velocity u2 let's refer to our equation u1 a1 equals u2 a2 we're trying to calculate u2 so we need to divide each side by A2. And in doing so, we will get U2, the thing we're trying to find, equals U1 A1 over A2. Now the area of a circle, we know that this is a circular inlet because the question specifies that we have diameters. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So over here where we've written A1 for the inlet, we know that that's pi times R1 squared because it's the inlet radius. And we know that A2 is pi times R2 squared. Now the other thing that I always try to enforce is that we should be working in metres. So what we need is we need to take our diameter of 50 mil and we need to convert it to a radius in metres. So let's write R1 equals, the radius is half the diameter, so 25 millimetres. But in order to work in metres, I need to divide that by 1,000. So 0 0.025 metres. And I'm going to do the same for R2. R2 is going to be 20 millimetres because it's half the diameter. And 20 millimetres in metres is 0 0.02 meters. Okay, so now we have all of the information we need because U2 equals U1 times A1, and we've already said A1 is pi R1 squared, divided by A2, and we've already said that A2 is pi R2 squared. So if we substitute in our numbers now, we've got U2, equals u1 the question specified that u1 was 6 times open brackets pi times r1 squared well r1 is 0 0.025 and we're going to divide that by a2 which is pi times r2 squared 0 0.02 squared and that will give us an outlet velocity u2 equal to 9.375 meters per second. Now it's important to know that when we have a tapering duct as shown there, the velocity is going to speed up as the diameter decreases. So the answer that we've got there we can assume is accurate because the flow has sped up from 6 meters per second to 9.375 meters per second as the ducts converged.
and by converged we mean that its diameter has decreased or it's become narrower.